In this video you will learn how to make this sound. And if you don't feel like following the entire tutorial, you can go to my website first link in the description to download it. You can get it for free, but if you feel like supporting me or the channel, you can pay any amount you want. My name is Matt Flank, let's get started. So now let's start with the lead. On its own, it sounds like this. So when it comes to making a sound like this, the first thing you want to do is figure out the notes and then I like to go for the wavetables. I find the first one to be working really well being the one in digital anti-stasis with the position set to 197. And then the second oscillator is going to be the basic shapes, analog basic shapes with the position set to 5 which is this pulse waveform. Next up we have some pitch wobbling going on, so we're gonna take an LFO, set it to 1.8 the RAID and map it to the fine tuning of both oscillators. Make sure it is bidirectional and we're gonna set both values to 13. Now we got this sound. As you can hear it sounds way too harsh now, so let's introduce a filter. Route A and B both through it. We're gonna select MG low 24. We're going to set the frequency to 3.9k. We're going to leave the rest as it is. We're getting there. So the next step is to add some syncing to the oscillators. For the first oscillator, we're going to be using sync 1 2 window. So this one. We're going to set that to a value of 1.62%. In the preset that you can download from my website, I will have all of these values mapped to the model wheel so you can play around with it while playing live. For my presets, that's very important that you're able to play live with them. So for a sync in oscillator 2, we're gonna select the normal sync with no window and set it to 1.44%. Next up, let's quickly adjust the envelopes. So the envelope 1, which is the amplitude envelope, we're gonna increase the attack slightly to around 5 milliseconds. And we're going to add a slight bit of release around 30 milliseconds right there. Next up envelope 2 which is going to be mapped to the filter. We're going to do that first. Frequency. We're going to adjust this value to 11. So it won't affect it too much. Then we're going to set the filter shape which is a decay of 215 milliseconds. And a sustain of around 60%. Right there. This is what it sounds like right now. Before we jump into the effects, we're gonna adjust the volumes of both oscillators. We're gonna set oscillator A to max volume and oscillator B is going to be way quieter at 20%. Like that. Now let's jump into the effects for the final adjustments. First, we're gonna enable hyperdimension. I'm gonna add a bit of hyper to it at 20% mix. Leave the rest of the values as they are. We're going to introduce a bit of dimension at 14%. And this is just creative freedom, so feel free to mess around with this yourself. Next up we have a chorus, which is really important in my opinion, to make it sound good. We're going to add a second delay at 1.6 milliseconds. And drag the first delay down to 2.7. Leave the rest as it is, but drag the mix down to 33%. Next up some compression. I'm going to set the threshold to minus 26. Pretty much leave the rest as it is, except we're going to add some gain at around 8 dB. Right there. And then finally some reverb, which is going to be set to a size of 38%, which is almost default. And then we're going to drag the decay length down to 3.4 seconds. And we're going to leave the rest as it is. And now we have our final sound. If you want, you can also make this mono and legato and add some portamento to it. Uh, I added a slight bit of portamento in my preset. But that's more for if you're going to play it live. Now let's get on to the next sounds, which are the bass and the pads. I will quickly go over it, but not from scratch. Uh, if you want those sounds, you can simply download them from my website. So the first sound is the bass. It's a very simple sound. It's two saw waves, one is an octave higher than the other one. I have the random phase on both disabled and set them to a value of which I think it sounds good. Then 
Then we added a filter, 24 dB low pass filter with the frequency set to 120 Hz. But we have envelope 2 mapped to this filter to add a little bit of attack and we have the mod wheel also mapped to this filter so we can control it with our mod wheel. And if I close the mod wheel all the way you can hear some noise that I added. Adds a little bit of dimension. And then for the effects we did distortion, chorus and compression. And then for the pad, which is this sound. You can hear that I distorted it a little bit and that is on purpose. So we have a basic shapes, which is set to position 6, which is this tight pulse wave. And then we have another basic shape set to a saw wave with four voices and detuned a tiny bit. Sounds like this. Without the effects, sounds like this. Add some reverb and compression, some chorus and distortion. And I have the compressor overdriving a little bit so we get that nice crunch. Then I added the low cut filter. And that's pretty much it. So that's the final result and if you're wondering what these drums are, those are Handy Drums, which is a brand new drum plugin with a very special feature, you can check it out in this video. So that's it for this video, if you have any suggestions of new sounds and songs that I can remake, please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me, my name is Matt Flank, peace out.